Hi there, this is Chris with Grandma's Laces and this is the flower that we're going to be making next week at Peacemakers in Costa Mesa. And I thought what I'd do right now is give you a quick tutorial on how I made this felted backing. Um, people can put a, a pin back or a hair comb or just a corsage needle through this. So I start with a little three inch circle of felt. I pull off some roving, in this case I kind of a neutral, multicolored, sweet looking roving. Spread it out, spread it around. So the whole piece of felt is covered. This is just the bottom layer. And then I go into, I have some really pretty um, kind of sparkly fiber. And so I'm pulling that out and I'm gonna just lay that down here and there and the blue popped out so let me pull off this is silk so it needs to be cut just a piece of blue now the flower that we're making is actually going to cover the center so i like things to kind of extend and a local friend made up a bunch of this wonderful curly roving which i just love so i'm going to place that around the outside it's kind of a wabi-sabi flower that we're making. And uh, like I said, the inside is going to be mostly covered, so it doesn't matter much. I'll pull off a little bit more of the green curly roving. And I kind of like that. Maybe a little bit more blue sparkle in there. Such a gorgeous electric blue. I'll put it under the wool roving. Okay, now I take my trusty uh, uh, bone folder because I stabbed my finger once and this is the um, felting tool. It has six eight needles on it. So I just start on an edge and I start just going up and down. The little barbs on the needles will help bring the fibers together. And I just start working my way. And you can tell when they start sticking to each other because it kind of flattens out. And it goes right through that little circle of pre-made velvet, not velvet, felt. And this will make a beautiful base for the flower. Turn it around and start on this quadrant. I've seen those sewing machines that do this, and I always wondered, is it worth it? And Well, I had to do 32 of these, so actually more. Um, and I'm not that much into felting, but this has been really a fun, fun project to fool around with and to practice. You just keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, fast as you can. I like working with the eight needles because it goes a little faster than the four needles. And I learned not to do this only took a couple stabs for me to get that. So, bone folders are wonderful. I got this for my brother-in-law's mother's estate, Steve Estrada. This belonged to Alice. It was in her, on her desk, and I was lucky enough that Steve let me have the bone folder, and I love it. It's just nice and long. It's antique. And it's just the handiest thing in the world. You'll see me with a lot of my videos doing this. A lot of my tutorials. I don't know if I'm off the thing here. Speed it up a little because this gets boring. But can you see how it's starting to flatten down? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that design. It's really pretty. All you do is just pull it up. And there you have it. There's the background. And so it's all ready now for a flower to be made on top of it. And look how pretty that'll be with those tendrils sticking out. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. Bye.